What's up, everybody? Chef Marcus Giuliano here, your chef on a mission. Let's jump into farm salmon today and what's wrong with it and maybe hopefully impact the chef to make a decision to serve wild salmon or skip salmon altogether. So here we go. Here's a salmon farm. Uh, this is underneath the nets of a salmon farm. And all chefs know, especially the famous chefs, the celebrity chefs, know that farmed salmon is a no-no. So, by the way, this is Don Staniford's site, um, donstaniford.org, one of the most um, outspoken activists out there trying to fight these evil farms. And um, he was in Seaspiracy, he was in a few things, uh, but Don has gotten some pictures underneath. This is what it looks like underneath, folks. Uh, see the sea lice? Up here on the top left, the sea lice that have attached. See these open lesions. Uh, the roadway here with all this dead salmon on it. That's what happens when you, when the your salmon dies off in the farm. They have to transport it somewhere. And it just happened to spill out of the truck there. Look at these open lesions on these salmon. It's just, it's disgusting. Uh, and the salmon farms will tell you that they're sustainable, that they're organic, that they're making a difference, that they're doing, you know, something different. But the reality is there's no right way to do the wrong thing. So... How do we make a difference? Well, we stop serving farm salmon. We stop consuming it. It's cheap. It's really cheap, which is why chefs love it. So um, here's a chef that I respect that I don't think should be serving this product. Chef Danielle Ballou. Now, Danielle Ballou has several restaurants in New York City. Well, actually, a few, several few restaurants in New York City. Uh, here's Le Pavillon, uh, his French restaurant. Well, it's all French, right? He's French-inspired. Now, if you go to Restaurant Danielle, he's going to have wild Alaskan king salmon on his menu because he knows the difference. Danielle, Chef Danielle Ballou knows the difference. But when you go to other his other restaurants here, um, they say... They focus on seasonality and locally sourced ingredients, right? So, of course, there's nothing seasonal about farmed salmon, folks. Farmed salmon is year-round availability. Now, wild salmon, of course, is has a very short season. It's a summer fish, summer catch. It happens beginning of April, mid-April, starting with the Copper River and maybe the Stakine River. And then it moves into ocean caught and um, it finishes up uh, in the fall time in September, October. I'm going to finish this up. So Danielle Ballou, very well-respected chef. Nothing against him. I love what he's doing, but maybe we can influence him to stop to take the farmed salmon off of his menu. Several of his menus have farmed smoked salmon, um, which is just it's ter it's terrible. Um, so now let's go to his menu here. And right here, poached Norwegian salmon. Folks, Norwegian salmon is, um, is indeed farmed salmon. Scottish salmon is farmed salmon. Faroe Island is farmed salmon. There are virtually zero, next to zero salmon runs, uh, commercial salmon runs available in the Atlantic Ocean because we've killed off all of the Atlantic salmon from placing salmon farms in the direct migratory path of the wild salmon. All those pictures I showed you just before here, um, all these sea lice and everything, those go out into the wild. Those affect the wild fish. So when the baby salmon swim by, um, this is and this is called open pen, open pen. See out in the back here, the pictures that you can see through them. There's there's square nets, so those lice go through there and attach themselves to the baby fish, the baby salmon fry, and those fish die once that happens. They're they're they they're 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 basically gone. Um, they attach and and they live with them until they die. But way you cram salmon, no matter if it's low density salmon, you cram salmon into a net, you are going to get sea lice. That's what happens. Low density, high density, whatever it is, you put them all together like that. That's what happens. Now these aren't real wild wild salmon that they're putting in the nets. These are genetically, um, I don't want to say genetically modified, but they're hybrid salmon that are bred specifically for farming. If these fish escape into the wild, they're really not gonna reproduce. They're not gonna reproduce. They're not, uh, they're gonna fight for the same food supply of the other salmon and they're gonna bring s diseases out. And salmon do escape from the farm on a regular basis. That's what's happening. I mean, look at this, this is just atrocious, atrocious. Um, so that being said, this is farmed salmon. This is from one of the bigger producers. I'm not sure if this is from Maui or who this is from, this cook aquaculture. But no matter whether it's Norway, Canada, East Coast Canada, West Coast Canada, um, New Zealand, Chile, no matter where it's from, this is their main, uh, Newfoundland, New Brunswick, no matter where it's from, this is the reality of what's happening in the farms. Now, some of them are going to say, well, we have a sustainably farmed salmon. We're organic. Those are all self-regulated terms. The industry creates their own their own groups 
advocates, uh, their own groups, rating groups, and they rate themselves, right? So, you know, if I had, um, if I wanted to get together with a group of restaurants and say it's 10 restaurants, let's form the best restaurants of New York.com and we all rate ourselves the 10 best restaurants and kind of forego everything else out there. Um, there'd be a conflict of interest, right? Well, this is what they're doing. They're creating their own rating systems so they can toot their own horn and trick more of the um, of the consumers and chefs. But Danielle Ballou, he's a smart guy, and he should not. <laughs> he should. He but he knows better. He absolutely knows better. Being one, of, you know, very foremost, predominant chef in this movement of sustainability and seasonally and real food, real food ingredients. He knows better than to be serving farmed salmon so let's let's drop danielle a note um and ask him to remove that off of his menus he's very qualified so is all of his staff his two chefs executive chef they're all very very qualified people and they understand um so not a place not a place for farmed salmon i don't think on any of danielle's menus or really any menu and the more we speak up the more we say something the more we boycott this farmed salmon uh the better off we are and it's you know this industry is crumbling down because what's happening is Places like British Columbia are kicking them out. Washington State kicked them out. Argentina said no to them. Um, so places are doing a resistance with the farm salmon and saying, no, we don't want you here. We saw what you've done in the last 20 years. You can get out. Or they're saying, we've seen what you've done in other places. We don't want you here to begin with. Um, don't even come come in our oceans. Don't even come in our area. So that's the reality of that. So, all right, folks. Everybody have a great day. You can go to chefonamission.com or marcusjuliano.com for a lot more information on me. MarcusG.TV is my YouTube channel. And have an amazing day. We'll talk to you later.